Okay, we are ready. We can start. For me, it's an honor to present Professor Volkan Tutku from Istanbul, Turkey. He is going to present a robotic transperineal prostatectomy, which is the most innovative surgery and most suspected of this Congress. So, a Professor, welcome. And we are ready. Yes, 71 years old. PSA level is 8.95, and Gleason is 3 plus 3, and uh, before he had uh, colon surgery. So, uh, the patient position is the uh, not accessory lithotomy, uh, the lithotomy positions, but when we compare the transperineal peritoneal prostatectomy, uh, the position is not 30 degree Trendelenburg, uh, only lithotomy position. Now uh, you can see we insert the straight glow into the rectum and uh, we stitch. Uh, the gloves, piranal skin. Thus, we avoid rectal damage by using digital rectal examination during perineal dissections. When we compare the transperitoneal approach, uh, this is the advantage of position because you know the anesthesia uh, is comfortable to positions, especially obese patients. Okay, so you use prophylaxis. Do you put a catheter when you perform the surgery? Uh, only. Uh, this is the normal catheter, uh, insert the bladder. Uh, okay. okay. And you select this patient, you have sele patient selection for these cases. What, what this case because have a colon surgery, have yes. o obese uh, patient. What kind of patient do you mm -hmm. choose for this kind of approach? First cases, uh, we select the colon surgery or button surgery before uh, and kidney transplantations after the okay. prostate cancer. Uh, so we select, but uh, nowadays when we have experience, uh, the result is good. So uh, the uh, organ uh, limited uh, the prostate cancer patients mm -hmm. we perform. Localize this? Yes. Ah, okay. So, because you have a series of 18 patients published in Turkey's Journal of Urology 2017 with good results, I mean, so you have some experience, like two, three years performing this kind of procedure. No? Yes. Now, uh, we mark the tuberosity isiaticus now, okay. uh, this is important, tuberous sciaticus, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think six or seven centimeters incisions, seminar incisions we make, mm -hmm. uh, but the incision uh, isn't reach the tuberous sciaticus, only six centimeters. Okay. You can see, this is the advantage of the open perineal surgery when we compare the incision is smaller. Smaller, yes. yes. Okay. Have you ever have experience of open radical perineal prostatectomy? Not much. Not much, yes. okay. And you learned this technique for Professor Kaut? 
or you start to do it for Professor Kaut? Or Hi, uh, no. Uh, the fellow of the um, Professor Kaut, mm -hmm. uh, the name is uh, Oktay, mm -hmm. uh, told me. Okay. Uh, so so we, just, just start we, from there. We, we just pr uh, start. Yeah. Now uh, we use Kotlin to uh, perennial tissue. And uh, now uh, we make skewer rectal fossa by using uh, our fingers on either side of central tendon. Mm. Yes, now you can see. So you don't don't incise the, the tendon. Yeah. Yes. Uh, after this, we divided the central tendon, so we will go through the, this rod. Yes, now we are dividing the central tendon. This is central tendon. How many cases are you performing a year, approximately? Uh, until now, mm -hmm. 130 cases. Okay. <coughs> uh, now, uh, can you see the superficial rectum? So uh, this is there is the, there are two method. Uh, first, one of them uh, described by Young, uh, supra sphincteric. Supra -frenteric. Yes, supra sphincteric. Mm -hmm. But the other is belt. Uh, is the sub sphincteric. Okay. I prefer. Sub sphincteric. Sub, okay. Yes, because uh, this road is decrease the bleeding, mm. really. <laughs> now, uh, peanut sponge uh, with dissections, quint dissection. Superficial uh, rectum through the so now you're making a space to to develop the, that space. Yes. Sometimes uh, we feel the uh, prostate by Don't fingers mm -hmm. into the rectum. Mm -hmm. Now it's the last station. This is the rectourethral bundle. Okay. So when we cut the rectourethral bundle, we reach the prostate. Okay. It's the last. So you put you put a stitch or you cut it? No, only cut. Only cut. Uh, okay. We use right angle, and uh, we use cutlery. Okay. But uh, we must careful this area because the rectum is close to here. So uh, we must careful. 
Have you ever have a rectal injury? You yeah, uh, only one. One case. Uh, one case. Uh, yes, I mean probably one, bike, one case because the, my fellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. In the beginning learning curve, that yes, those yes, things yes. happen. And uh, so the patient also dialysis. Oh, okay. Patient, so yeah, okay. So uh, kidney chronic tissue disease. isn't good. Yeah. No. Uh, we will divide the rectorial bundles. Have you ever tried to do this technique in, in high risk patients with prostate cancer? Um, or you you only mm -hmm. only one cases mm -hmm. uh, I performed uh, ten years ago. I performed uh, open radical cystectomy, but spare prostatectomy. Okay. Spare prostate. So uh, ten years later. Prostate cancer. Yeah, prostate cancer. Yes. Four plus four. Yes. But uh, orthotopic bladder, neobladder. So, so transparent. Uh, so I sent the radiotherapy, but uh, radiotherapy is never mm. uh, because of the bowel everywhere. Yeah. So uh, I perform uh, robotic radical. Robotic radical perineal. Yes. And uh, 15 cases, mm -hmm. I also uh, performed lymph node dissections in the approach to perineal. Per to perineal. Yes. So you have performed or you, you didn't? You haven't? No, I, I, I performed lymph node dissections, but limited. Limited Because uh, yes, okay. I can't go to uh, yeah, yeah, okay, our yeah, of course, of course, uh, bifurcation. Yeah. Yeah, so this approach is different mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, I can imagine. Now uh, I perform or I create uh, cavitations, the lateral of the uh, prostates, and uh, now I feel the prostate apex, my finger. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you can see the lateral prostate now, uh, the sections of the aspirations and uh, peanut uh, sponge now you can see yes this area is prostate so it will be finished the open surgery Do you, do you have transfusion, bleeding, those kind of complications? No, because no. The, uh, the open open surgery, no, uh, there isn't any bleeding because the my approach is the uh, subsphincteric. Sub yes. yes. Now uh, we make subcutan posh. Uh, under the incisions borders. We must make this porch deeply in order to place gel point. Now we are preparing this porch. Do you use Trendelenburg 
or not you use normal lithotomy position? No, lithotomy position. Lithotomy. No Trendelenburg, you don't use? No, maybe a five little, degree. Five degree, okay. Almost, almost nothing. Mm. So you are developing the space below the skin to put the gel pore. You you take time to do that. How is your your main time? Your I mean, normal normal operating time for this procedure? Yes, uh, the open <coughs> surgery is it maybe thirty minutes. Thirty, okay. Thirty minutes, but consult time is one hour or approximately one, one, one hour. hour really. Ah, it's not, not too long, mm. it's not too long. No, not no. too long. Y you will see. Yes. Now we must suspend these muscles with sutures. And these sutures are fixed by a hemlock clip over the skin to enhance the optical view during robotic dura uh, surgery. In obese patient, do you have experience with this technique? Because probably it's another indication if you have a really, really obese patient. Obese patient. Yes, body yes. mass index more yes. than 35, probably. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have experience, really. It's, uh, it's really, when we compare the transperitoneal, it's really uh, easy. Yes, of more course. easy, really. Of course. You put that uh, stitch to open, to to put the the gel port, to open the space, to open what, what what is uh, why you put the, those stitch? Because the uh, the hole is narrow, mm -hmm. so we can't uh, insert the instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. The view is more good. Vision is very good. finished. <laughs> now uh, we place the ports but uh, different the transparent approach because 
we use only uh, three ports camera ports uh, scissors and million so the other is assistance port uh, six o'clock the assistance port the right side is scissors the left side is uh, million and the 12 o'clock camera port Now you will see. So you use four, four yes, port. only four in the gel board. Okay. This is all are uh, from eight to ten the length. Yes, the uh, we use XI robotic system mm -hmm. and eight, 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 and uh, the other is. Uh, Ten. Ten. Okay. Because uh, we use hemolock clip. No. Okay. This is endoscope. This is the, yes. In, inside the. So could you explain also every step? Because most of the people are not uh, used to see this, this surgical field. So if you can explain us everything step by step. Yes. Uh, now uh, this is a prostate. Uh, the the right side is lateral pedicle and left side is le lateral pedicle pedicle uh, now uh, we use hemolog clips the lateral pedicles uh, the left side the same uh, then we cut the lateral pedicles first uh, and uh, we prevent the bleeding also. Uh. That's the first thing you see when you start, you don't dissect anything to get this point? Uh, no, uh, because uh, before the open surgery, mm -hmm. uh, we use ma uh, fingers, the mm -hmm. Okay. The sections this of the, this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Understand. But sometimes uh, we don't use the fingers. Uh, we yes, uh, insert only instruments. This like now uh, we open the denovillar fascia. Mm. This is the, uh, we reach the seminovesicus and ductus. Mm. So now we we are open. We are opening the. Uh, Denovillar fascia. So you can see the seminal vesicles and sharp the dissections of the seminal vesicles. You can see okay. and uh, it is a ductus. Now we are dividing the ductus. Yes. The left side, the right side now. Yeah, we we are the sections the seminal vesicle. You can see. Yeah, it's clear. Mm -hmm. The other ductus. Yes. It's the lateral side of the prostate. You can see. Yeah. Yes. And. Uh, endopelvic fascia or no, we, we, we never open the endopelvic fascia. You don't open it, okay. uh, We never. Okay. So lateral pedicle, uh, we will go through the, this side. seminal vesicles are free and uh, we dissect the later lateral pedicles now we will turn the urethra we will turn the, but now the left side we dissect the lateral sides 
Yes, this is the prostate. Yes, it's the same approach. The left side, the lateral pedicle, we put the hemolog clip and cut the above the hemolog clip. Yes. Yes. Now we will go through the urethra. This is the urethra. You, uh, the left side, the urethra. We are opening. So you you use thirty degrees uh, camera or uh, zero yes. degrees? Uh, now we are. Now we use generally we use thirty degree up. Thirty degree up. Yes. Okay. That's the trick because yes, you are seeing the urethra. Yes. Now uh, we use not cutlery, only cut the urethra. Yes, we can see the uh, catheter. We placed hemolog clip on the urethra catheter in order to keep the balloon inflated inside the bladder to handle it for further dissections. <laughs> yes. Generally, we never ligated the dorsal vein complex. Yes. Now, you will see, uh, we, we are only, this complex is released Ups released. Yes. What ha what happens if you have a bleeding when you dissect uh, the, the dorsal vein uh, complex? Stitch. 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 You yes, use the stitch. Yes, we use stitch. But generally, we don't see the bleeding. The okay, if you will. Bleeding, yeah. because the dorsal vein is released. Mm. You can see the prostate and uh, the right side now. We will go through the bladder neck now. You are looking for bladder neck right now. Yes. yes. Uh, now this is a bladder neck, mm -hmm. but sometimes the sections of lateral sides and right side, left side, and if there is a uh, sometimes uh, it necessary to uh, seminarial dissections, so. Sometimes we or we need uh, look at the, the others part of the prostate. Yes, the right side. Yes. Now the left side of the seminal vesicle, and we need it. It need uh, the sections now. Apart for rectal injury, have you have other complication in no, those no. cases? No, no, no because major complication. Far away now. Now far away.
example you can see the left side the venous uh, the vein is open the left side but no bleeding because of the pressure because narrow area so but after this uh, operation I will stitch there okay. now how pressure do you use oh. only 10 only 10, ten. Yes. That's a smaller space so probably more more pressure sometimes uh, now this is a bladder neck so I open the bladder neck but uh, is it orifice or not it's suspicious uh, so I will this is a, a this method is advantageous because I insert the optic into the bladder so I remove the catheter then uh, I insert the optic into the bladder Yes. Now I'm in bladder, so uh, you can see the orifice. Yes. The Fair. right side and the left side. Fair robotic cystoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really advantageous. Now I insist the trigon. But when we compare the transparent, we never insert the optic. Bladder neck. Yeah. Have you tried to put a catheter if you have doubt with the ureters or if it's? Uh, I mean, if if you if you cannot find the 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 meatus of but ure in ureteral ter ureters. if turn it down, we insert the optic. Mm -hmm. We always see. See. Okay. Really. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. This is the uh, under the prostate. This is the uh, seminal vesicle. You can see the seminal vesicles. This is safely because uh, we can see seminal vesicles and the others are here. Yes. Now well, it finished. Now if we will remove the prostate, then yes, the right side there is a uh, open vein. So we stitch, we will stitch. What suture do you use? You and this is a big grill. Big grill. Force okay. zero. Okay. But uh, anastomosis, uh, we use VLAC. Mm. You can see the lateral side neurovascular bundle and the left side the other neurovascular bundle. Yes, we are starting the anastomosis. The uh, we generally use Bernard-Hoffen technique, but modify because we start the twelve o'clock. Yes. Do you think this uh, step is probably the most challenging, most difficult in the beginning? I mean, probably it's one of the uh, most... Not uh, difficult, uh, but only narrow area. You can see the urethra, the mucosa, uh, and the other suture is the same, urethra, mucosa, and mucosa. Yes. Now there is a 
uh, trick here. Uh, the when the uh, tractions of the bladder, neck, and urethra, the pressure is down. Okay. Yes, only this area. Uh, difficult is the only anastomosis is narrow, but <laughs> but you can see easily this mucosa and uh, bladder neck. And uh, advantages of the, this approach, uh, generally bladder neck hole is smaller, really. Yes. Um, what about functional outcomes with this procedure? I mean, do you have any series uh, that you yes, uh, potency? Uh, really, uh, the result is good. And uh, 120 cases, the uh, early results, I will, uh, I, I, I will send the, I think, European Neurology. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, and uh, I think Professor Pascuala is here. Uh, he came to mm -hmm. Istanbul to learn the, the technique. This technique. Then uh, he invited me also, Bari, and uh, four cases performed together. Then until now, I think 35 cases he performed. So I think it is easy. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, it finished, finished. water tightness. Yes. You, put so a, you put a catheter no, inside the bladder? Yes, yes. Uh, inside the bladder, and uh, we checked the 200 saline drainage. irrigations. And drainage? Do you, do you leave drainage? Yes. yes. Uh, only small drain. Only small yes. drain, okay. The same incision? Yes, uh, mm. this is a approximate bullet loss on 100 cc. And console time is 70 minutes. Uh, congratulations, so Professor. Really, really you. nice procedure. Thank, thank you for you. coming here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, invitations. Okay. Committee. Okay. Thank you.